everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Noelle. I am so glad you found me and decided to click on my video, and I hope you choose to stick around. So as you can see by today's title, we are going to be meal prepping lunches and snacks for me and my kids for the week. I start work at 6 o'clock in the morning on the weekdays, so I find it really hard to get up and make lunches for everybody before that as well as get myself ready. So I really like to take the time on Sunday and meal prep all these things for us for the week and it just helps the week run a lot smoother and easier for all of us. So to start off the week, I am just taking some biscuits that we got from the store and I'm just throwing some margarine on those. And this is just something super simple. My kids and I all love this. It's easy, it's simple, it's fast. So I'm just going to throw those in the lunch boxes to start. And then I'm going to go and cut up some cucumbers. We all love cucumbers here. It's a really simple and easy veggie that we all love. You know, lots of water in there. Not too much for nutrients, but I mean, as long as we leave the skin on, at least we're getting some nutrients, right? My kids prefer when the slices are cut nice and thin and then cut in half. So that is how I've cut them up for them. I really don't care. I'll have them thick or thin and just regular old slices for me is perfectly fine. So the next thing I'm going to slice up is some mango. Now, these aren't the best looking mangoes, let me tell you. They were a little bit soft in certain spots, so I just made sure to cut around those. So the way I like to cut mango is just slice off a side of it and then kind of cut a grid pattern, you know, a couple slits one way and slits the other way, and then I just scoop it out with a spoon. I find that is the easiest way for me to cut up mango, and I really like it. It comes out in these like perfect little chunks. As you can see here, you just kind of slide the spoon underneath and then all the little pieces come out. It's perfect. I find it really easy and really simple. Um, if you guys have any other tips for slicing up your mango around the pit, that would be really awesome if you'd leave them in the comments down below. I love mango. It's one of my absolute favorite fruits. I don't find it too um, aggressive or sweet or sour of a taste. It's just like perfect in the middle. So I'm just adding those into the lunch boxes along with the cucumbers and I'm just adding some carrots in with the cucumbers as well. Cucumbers and carrots have to be my favorite combination of veggies along with like broccoli and cauliflower. That is another really good combination that I really like, but this is what we have today. So I've also thrown in um, some Oikos Greek yogurt in banana flavor, banana strawberry, and then just a regular old Mott's Fruit Sations um, applesauce cup for my other son. He much prefers that over yogurt. Sometimes he gets yogurt, sometimes he gets a uh, applesauce cup. So that's the lunches for Monday. Now on to the next one. So in Tuesday's lunches here, we have some salad going on. I am just kind of making up a mini sort of kind of like a Caesar salad, kind of not. This is just a package of a garden salad mix, I believe, and it has little shreds of um, iceberg and carrots and a little bit of cabbage. My kids aren't the biggest fan of the red cabbage, so I tend to kind of stuff that onto mine and kind of take it out of theirs as much as I can. If they get a few shreds here and there, it is not going to hurt them. They're barely going to taste it anyways, but it's what I love. So I'm just adding on some ranch style croutons that we picked up from the store. We've never tried these before, but I did sneak one when I was making these salads because I really wanted to try it. And guys, they are absolutely amazing. If you see these in your store, I would highly, highly recommend grabbing a pack of these. They are amazing. They have amazing flavor. I've also added in a little pot of Caesar or ranch dressing. We, you know, have favorites obviously between the three of us, so I've given everybody their favorite dressing. I've also added in a little Pillsbury birthday cake bar sort of thing as a treat for the boys and some almonds as well. And then for myself, again, my favorite, cucumber and carrots on the side. And if I have any more um, dressing for my salad left over, I can always use that to dip my veggies in. Now on to Wednesday's lunches. Right now I'm just starting out making some turkey sandwiches. My kids like their sandwiches pretty plain and I do overall as well. And it's funny because when I'm making lunches for myself, I don't tend to make sandwiches that are like super extravagant with like, you know, lettuce, tomato, mustard, like all that stuff. I don't know why, but simple 
is the way I go. And my kids obviously aren't a fan of all that stuff in their sandwiches. So I tend to kind of just make for myself what I'm making for them. <laughs> Even though most of the time I do prefer having a lot more to my sandwich. It's funny how like when you're a parent, things just kind of happen that way. You just kind of do things for yourself that you're already doing for your kids. It's it's funny. But anyways, so for these sandwiches, we're just doing again, plain and simple, just mayonnaise on the white bread, slice of turkey on each side, and then a slice of Havarti cheese in between. And I'm just going to cut these up and throw these into the lunch boxes. My kids aren't big on red meat, so they're not really into a lot of, you know, beef and things like that. So turkey and chicken is really where they're at. They're not even fans of ham or bacon or anything like that yet, which is kind of funny. But whatever they like is what I'm going to make. So alongside of the sandwiches, I am just adding in some crackers. So we have some Ritz crackers for one of the boys. And then for the other one, we have some tri cheddar goldfish crackers. And then for myself, I just have a little bit of the leftover mini Ritz cheese sandwich crackers. I really wanted to use out the box, trying to create some room in that cupboard. So alongside of that, one of them has some marble cheese strings and the other one has some Marvel baby bell cheeses. And then I have my recurring cucumber and carrots on the side of my sandwich. So for the next day, I am just using up the leftover turkey and Havarti cheese and I'm making myself another sandwich and I wanted to change it up a little bit and add in some avocado to my sandwich. I really, really enjoy avocado and it just adds something really special when I add it into my turkey and Havarti cheese sandwich. I don't know what it is, but it just, I don't know, it just elevates it in a way that nothing else can. So now I'm starting to peel off the skin of a kiwi and I'm just going to slice that up into little slices. Again, my kids like their kiwi just like they like their cucumbers, just kind of slice thinly and then have the slices in half. My kids are at a point right now where they are more willing to try new things. So kiwi is our new thing that they're trying. And again, kiwi I don't find is terribly sweet or sour. It's a very good kind of middle of the road type of fruit if your kids aren't really into fruit. So they were willing to try it, which I am very happy about. So alongside of their kiwi, they are also having a banana chocolate chip muffin. And just to use up the last of those biscuits, I'm throwing that in with some margarine inside. And then they're each getting a little Rice crispy Square as a treat. I also have some carrots alongside of my sandwich and kiwi to finish up the lunches for the week. Yes, this is only Thursday, but on Fridays, my kids get hot lunch at school. And then I usually partake in some sort of, you know, hot, healthy lunch as well. So moving on now to our snacks for the week, I'm starting off with my own snacks. And I have, I only have three of these containers. If I had four, I'd be able to prep all four days, but I cannot find one of my containers, unfortunately. So I'm just starting off with some roasted almonds along with some dried cranberries. And then I have just cubed up some marble cheese. I actually started making these after I found these little snack packs at a store one time and I figured you know what I could make my own for a heck of a lot cheaper at home so I've been making them ever since and they are amazing a lot better than the ones you get in the store so over to the kids snacks obviously they have their vitamins in the bottom and then you know for each different day they'll have a s'mores granola bar a rainbow chip granola bar almonds or they'll have some popcorn or some cheesy puffs just always trying to make things fun for the kids right so that is all of the meal prepping our lunches and snacks for the week i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i upload a new video you'll also want to stop by tomorrow as i will have a bonus video collabing with a few lovely ladies here on youtube which I am super excited about. I am also really hoping to make this a regular occurrence on my channel. So thank you all so, so much for watching and supporting me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.